सो टुडे वी वुड बी सॉल्विंग लीड कोड क्वेश्चन नंबर 1863 सम ऑफ ऑल सबसेट्स और टोटल्स सो व्हाट द क्वेश्चन सेज इज दैट वी नीड टू फाइंड सम ऑफ जोर्स ऑफ ऑल द सबसेट्स ऑफ द एलिमेंट्स इन द एरे गिवन टू अस लाइक वी हैव 1 एंड 3 सो व्हाट ऑल पॉसिबल सबसेट्स वी कैन क्रिएट 1 3 1 3 now for a particular subset zor all the elements for this particular subset zor all the elements for this particular subset zor all the elements and then just return the sum of all the zors okay so that is basically the question we would be solving it step by step this question uses backtracking and it was asked in adobe so let us first create our answer function in int answer and we will be passing our vector int ampersand nums we would be treating our indices int i and a sum and a sum variable that would be carry on as we go through all the recurrence steps okay so we would be writing our base condition at the very last what would be our recurrence condition the recurrence condition would say that return return answer vector sorry nums i plus 1 and just zor the current element that is take or not take the principle of take or not take follows here if you are taking this element then just zor this with my previous sum that was going on okay zor num set i if you are not taking but we need to count the sum of all the we need to count the sum of all the subset zor so just say answer take in nums go forward but do not add this do not zor this number with the previous subset okay do not zor this number in my previous in my previous ongoing subset just create a new subset okay just start creating a new subset with previous sum okay that was accumulated previous zor sum we can just say it as it is okay then if our i goes beyond boundary if i goes greater than equal to nums dot size then in that case we would be returning we would be returning return the sum for that particular backtracked subset okay and that is our code return answer of nums comma 0 comma 0 i would be starting with 0 sum would be starting with 0 now what we are doing is that we are creating all possible subsets like for example we would be having <coughs> we would be having 1 3 5 okay supposingly we have this let us take as take this in the middle now what we say just take or not take here we took here we didn't took here we took num set i here we neglected num set i so if we are taking if left would be taking right would be not taking okay so if i just take so if i just take one okay then my new subset would be one and if i if i not take one if i would not take one if i would not take one then then i would be i would be left with empty okay now one as my subset would now be dealing with other elements also now now one went forward it said either i can take 3 or i can not take 3 so if he takes 3 1,3 if he does not take 3 then it remains 1 here it says here it says here it says that i can also take 3 or not take 3 so if i take 3 i would be 3 if i would not take 
I would be empty as of now. Okay, I goes to five. Okay, I goes to five. It said either I can take five or I cannot take five. Okay, for this one comma three, and then for this one comma three only, it said that either I can take five or I can not take five. Okay. So if you are not taking five, then you are left with one comma three. And that is it. And then we came to this one. For this, we are finished. Okay. Then let me just shift this to a right. For this one. For this, this, this. For this, 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 for this, 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 this. Okay. Now for this one. This one was for this one. Now for one, I am having again two options: either to take five or to not take five. If I take five to my towards my left, one comma five, and if I do not take five, it would remain one as it is. Okay. Now <clears throat> for this one. The question remains the same. The question remains the same for this three. Either I can take five or I can not take five. If I take five, it would be three comma five. If I would, if I, if I neglect five, if I neglect five, if I neglect five, if I neglect neglect five, then it would be three. But the indices have now reached the end. Now for The same this one, the same this. That either I can take five or I cannot take five. If I take five, then five. If I neglect five, then it would be empty. We are having each and every subset at our last step. One three five, one three one five, one three comma five three and five and empty. And that is the number of subsets that is required at this stage. If I just calculate the ZOR of one three five, one three one five, one three. Comma five three and five and empty that is zero nothing but zero so I would then be summing up all these and then I would be returning and that is what we are doing in this whole solution okay so I think that is clear I would just comment it out okay and then we should submit it because we are uh, done okay that is backtracking okay so it took four milliseconds for our test cases to be passed. Done. Let us, let us, let us, let us, let us add our, add our, add our test case of uh, one, three, and five, and let us see the answer for this one, one, three, and five. Uh, twenty, twenty-eight, and twenty-eight. Okay, so that is it. I think if we do, if we do, if we do, like. Uh, one zor three zor five. What would it be? Hmm. I mean calculator. But okay, I think that would result. You can just try it on your own. One zor three zor five. One zor plus plus. Wait a minute. Plus one zor three. Plus one zor five. Plus one. Plus three zor five. Plus three and. Plus five and plus a zor of empty. I think that would result in twenty-eight, and that is it, guys. Uh, sorry, submission left. Let us submit it, and this would be submitted because I've tried it previously. So uh, the question is done. I hope that the logic was clear. We have we took discussion from the till the base case. Why this was our base case? Because when I goes beyond boundaries, then we would submit it as it is. uh this was a backtracking question i think backtracking also we uh, have discussed nicely and that is it thanks for watching this one please do comment down your thoughts in the comment section and let's meet in the next one till then bye